Have you got everything you need for your overseas holiday? Whether you're a first time explorer or a seasoned expert. We recommend that you take a trip to France to learn what European motorhoming has to offer. Buy and study the appropriate guidebooks in advance. Stop overnight in campsites of varying standards and at motorhome stopovers to get the full experience. Whatever type of motorhomer you are, the important thing is to go. There is never a right time and you never know what will happen in the future. Should you discover that you do not like travelling abroad, at least you have tried it. And if you love it, the quicker you go, the better. Calais, the closest French port to England, just 26 miles away from Dover, and the evident tourist appeal centres around shopping. But is that all Calais has to offer? Having suffered the ravages of war, Calais was completely rebuilt after World War II, when the British destroyed the town to stop the German invasion. And very little predates the war. Most people now see this busy fishing port as a lattice work of commercial streets conveniently located solely to enjoy the benefits of cheaper shopping. Lurking in the pretty Parc Saint-Pierre opposite the town hall is the War Museum. This offers interesting insights into World War II. The building itself is a former Nazi German naval bunker. Awesome, at 194 metres long, that acted as a command post. It was built in 1941 by the Toad Organization. All French ports celebrate the harvesting of the mussels, and this port is no exception. Most cook the mussels in different ways. At this port, they are put in a small tray after being prepared. Then straw is piled on top and set on fire. At night, the band parades down the quayside as people gather for the fireworks display.
The French Atlantic coast has a surprise around every corner, like this magnificent lighthouse at the end of a cove. It was open to the public, with great views from the top. Royan, on the Chantry Maritime coast, can claim to be one of the best Atlantic beach and holiday resorts in France. It has a warm and sunny climate, tourist attractions, a lovely natural location, and best of all, some wonderful sandy beaches. If you're looking to travel down the French Atlantic coast, then one way of getting across the mighty Grand Orne estuary is via the Royan Ferry. The Royan Ferry runs across to Liverdon sur Mer, often just known as Liverdon, across the water in the Grande department.
Liverd and Samaire is a small coastal resort at the northernmost end of the Midop Peninsula, close to Salex-sur-Mer and north of Bordeaux in the southwest of France. The Dune de Platz, better known as the Grand Dune, is by far the highest sand dune you can find in Europe. But it's not only about the height. It rather impresses by its large dimensions, its fascinating surroundings, and the breathtaking views it offers. Not to mention its shape and colours changing in function to the time of day and the seasons, as well as the feeling of freedom it conveys. Over thousands of years, nature has created this extraordinary dew, which is one of the most beautiful and most visited natural sites in France. Because of its uniqueness, it is also known far beyond the French borders and fascinates people around the world. But what makes it so unique? Why does it leave a lasting impression on all those who have seen it at least once in their lifetime? And why do you always like to come back? The dune is 2.7 kilometers long, 500 meters wide, and up to 110 meters high. Could that be why people like to come back? Standing at the top, you get the most magnificent views all the way around.
the pearl of the silver coast, the little bathing resort of Mimizan Plage, in the Landis community of Mimizan, between the Atlantic Ocean and the Gascoigne Landers Forest, has 10 kilometres of fine sandy beaches, a dream for surfers and those who like to relax on the beach, summer entertainment, seasonal markets, a casino, restaurants, bars and nightclubs, complete the tourist attractions of this resort. And not forgetting the magnificent Airdy service, which since we took this film has been completely restored and made larger. Thank you.